Hey guys, so welcome back to Skull and Bones. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best items to sell to make yourself some silver to spend in the game. This is gonna be with the use of selling commodities because there is a buy low, sell high kind of mechanic within the game. Now it doesn't really explain much, at least for me, it was something I had to learn by, you know, just exploring. Thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. But if I go ahead and I go to like my cargo hold here, if I just go to the set sale option here, you can go to manage cargo and I can look in my warehouse and you'll see everything's divided up into different, you know, things here. These are like materials, you know, refined wood. These are ingots. These are all materials. What we're actually looking for are things called commodities. So you can see over here we have Jade and it says commodities under it, right over there. That's what you're looking for. All of these ones that says commodities, these can be sold at different prices depending where you sell them on in the world. So you're gonna obviously wanna try sell them at the places that are gonna sell for more so that you can make more silver from selling them. Of course, you can get these from, you know, defeating merchant ships, uncovering treasure maps and finding the treasures. You'll get these through various different means throughout the game. Selling them is a different story. So how do you know where items sell high and where do they sell low? You can actually check this on the map. So go open up your map, press M, zoom out. It's a little tricky because it doesn't always show up on the different angles, right? But every area of the map sells for different things, right? So if I go ahead and I, you know, do this, if you see like the outline of these two areas, like with the, you know, the kind of like chalk gray outline. And if you look on the right hand side, it says in plentiful supply is ale. So this means selling ale here is going to give you the worst amount of you know money because it's in plentiful supply there's so much of it if you sell ale here you're going to be scamming yourself but what you should note is the option where it says highest in demand painting gin uncut diamond frankincense and ivory sell for a lot in this area a lot more than usual now where in this area do you sell these things well you'll have to go to a settlement right so if i go ahead and i actually i think i have to zoom up one level again so i can see the the outline over here so you have to like find the specific zoom level what you're looking for is something like a settlement somewhere where you can actually sell stuff so this place over here is within the area where you can sell the stuff here too so we can see what the bloody channel has to offer, but if we go ahead and we move over to the giant's leap, this area over here, you'll see there in plentiful supply is Lamba cloth and the highest in demand is a whole bunch of different items. So you're gonna to wanna to sell those items within this area at the settlements that you can sell at from here. Stuff like, you know, settlements like this, you know, Palisade Bay, any merchants that you can find within the giant's leap that are able to, you know, sell and buy stuff, that's where you'll be selling it to. You'll even see that St. Anne has its own in plentiful supply as well as highest in demand for selling, right? So Jade, Porcelain, and Ginseng sells for a lot there. If I look at Tilok Penjara, where I am right now, you can see highest in demand is firearms, cannon powder, and rum. But let's say I look at two different things here, for example. Let's say I look at spice, which is in plentiful supply, and I look at firearms. Spice and firearms. Now, if I go ahead and I access the cargo of my ship, because obviously I need to get these, in, these items out of my warehouse, go to manage cargo. So in my warehouse on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and move some firearms to my cargo, just like this. And we're also going to go ahead and move some spice like this, right? To show you what they look like in a store that is within this region. And to make matters a little bit more confusing, especially for places like this, you will see if I go to the Hawker, we can go ahead and see the value of these items, right? So we know that firearms is actually supposed to sell well. And if we go into the sell menu here, we can see firearms and spice. Both of them have this red arrow downwards. This red arrow downwards means that we're actually getting low bold. We're getting a really low price for these. And this is not when you want to sell them. You want to sell them when they have a green arrow upwards or even better, two green arrow upwards. You can, of course, go to every single other store on the, you know, the den to just double check the prices and maybe see if you can find a higher deal somewhere else. But generally, it seems like the best option is checking out the commodity trader at the dens. So let's start out with the commodity trader right over here. Speak to them. We go to buy and sell. We click sell. Now you can see here a bunch of them will not have arrows, which is their neutral pricing. The red arrow downwards means you're getting low bold with a low price. And the green arrows upwards means that you're getting paid pretty decently for those things. Like look at firearms right now, 219. 
compared to earlier where it was like what 110 so that is a really good sell we can go ahead and do this sell it for 1300 doesn't seem like a lot but as you get more of these resources you start to make money like like selling this as well which now gives me 3100 essentially boom all the ones with green arrows gone and that's good we now have a bunch more silver let's go ahead and fast travel to saint anne and see what luck we can have there all right so we still have a bunch of those commodities in our inventory but now that we're in a different area saint anne if we zoom out over here and we look at the area you can see highest in demand is jade porcelain and ginseng and then in plentiful supply they have all that other stuff now, if we go ahead and we go to the commodity trader, this is also a place I think you can actually buy commodities that are in plentiful supply. So if I go ahead, buy and sell, you can see here we can buy Lambda cloth for 109 or cloves for 91. If these prices were good, we can go ahead and purchase them. But if I go to sell, you can see here we now have different options that sell for more. The Jade selling for 260. If I go ahead and sell all five of those, we can get 1300. Boom, sell that one nice. No more green arrows, a lot of red arrows. This is a bad area to sell in, is what this tells me. Alternatively, you can always check on the map at all the different areas, see what's in demand, and take all of those commodities to a settlement within that region, like I'm gonna go to one right now, and we're gonna go ahead and check if we can get a deal on these things. So here we are at a settlement. You'll see there is an interact option. That's the one we're gonna use. We're gonna interact just like this. We're gonna go to buy and sell. We're gonna go for the sell option and you'll see all of these things here have a green up arrow, which means we can go ahead and sell them. Boom, 6,000, boom, 3,000, boom, 2,300, boom, 1,500, boom, 2,700. That's a ton of silver to make very quickly, just like that. In general, commodities are the only items you are going to sell. Everything else has a usage and is used in some way and form to either get cannonballs or be used for, you know, upgrading ships like materials. So don't sell anything that doesn't say commodity because you're probably going to need it. So that's just a little warning because it's very easy to think, OK, cool, I got a bunch of this random stuff. Let me just get rid of it. Everything has a use. Everything. If you happen to find outposts in areas, you can actually use a nice cheesy method to actually go visit there and sell stuff without actually having to stock them on you beforehand. For example, at this location over here, you can see this place has highest in demand brandy, wine, ale, and spice. And if I zoom in, this is the outpost that we're going to, the one that says the Pirate's Bonfire. Basically, at these locations, you can actually access your warehouse from anywhere on the map. So if I disembark here, you should see really close to you, there is a cache, which looks like the chest icon and you can actually go ahead and open this at any time. So if I open up this, you know, this cache right here, we just have to remember what items are highest in demand. So that's brandy, wine, ale, and spice. And in the cache, we'll be looking for those. So if I look on the right-hand side, we're gonna look for wine, yes. We're gonna transfer to this, the cargo, brandy, yes. We're looking for ale. Let's find ale. Do we have any ale? We do have ale. I know we sold all the spice already, so we don't have spice left over. But with those three items, you're just going to go ahead and find the merchant. They're usually nearby the rowboat where you dock on the outpost over here. So this guy over here, we speak to him, buy and sell, sell. And you can see, bam, look at how much brand he's selling for. 5,000 smackaroonies right on the point there. Boom. Nice big chunk of silver to make. And that's how you can easily, you know, travel and, you know, go to these outposts without, without actually stocking all the cargo on your ship. You can just use the cache to find them. You just got to make sure that you're using these outposts around the world in the different areas that, you know, you're trying to sell. Now, not every area has one, but if an area does, it's a nice place to use to quickly just, you know, sell a bunch of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.